fishing, it's fine, but hooking is the only way. We're going to show you how to catch some fish today. Hey guys, I want to share something with you guys. We were down in the Delta fishing and um, we actually took this with our cell phone and we were fishing for crappie and I made a calf oh. out and I got this little tip. I set the hook and all of a sudden this fish just tore out. He probably took about 50 feet of line straight out, straight going straight toward the bank. He went into the grass, he got all tangled up and all of a sudden I, it stopped and I kept yanking, you know, and I only have four pound test. I kept pulling, pulling, and he took off again, and he started running, he took out about another 50 feet of line, and I took the boat and I started chasing him, because when you hook a big fish like this, you want to go, you have to go chase him. Plus, I only had four pound test, and I was pulling really hard. So we get up there, and I noticed that this fish had gone through this big log. So he went through the log, and he took off, and he started running down the weed line. Still on there, yeah. What's that? Still on there, but it's stuck in the tree. Yeah, she's shaking it. <laughs> oh, shoot. Pull back out, I can get, I'll, I'll get the fish net down there and see if I can get that log out of the way. After fighting this fish for over 25 minutes, we had this good idea. Um, Warren suggested, hey, maybe he's going to grab the net and try log. to lift the log up to see where my line is. Because the fish, and not knowing, I didn't know what kind of fish it was. You know, it could have been a striper, it you know, could have been a catfish, yeah. could have been anything. So I just knew it was big. So Warren, he's pulling around the net. He grabbed the first log. I think he just grabbed the end of it and he kept pulling it up and down trying to find my line so he can untangle it. He was reaching down in there getting his <laughs> arms all wet and he just kept trying and the fish it quit moving. I kept yanking, yeah, yanking stuck. and it didn't move. It, it was just laying on the bottom probably because it was a little tired. But Warren's digging around under there trying to, I don't know if he was counting how many logs there was down there or, or what he was doing. Who knows? Game of chicken. But he was making a good effort trying, right. as always. Trying to braid the line. Tippet's moving. Yep. He's still on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Well, after I kept yanking my rod and yanking, all of a sudden that fish just took off. And he ran about 30 to 50 feet more line to the opposite direction, under the boat. So the line was under the log and he went straight out toward the middle. Is he on? <laughs> He's out there somewhere. I don't, but I don't even see the tent moving anymore. I'm gonna try something here. Hey, I'm gonna try something. Try to snag my line on the other side of that log and then bring it up and then uh, we'll get my line on. Let, let me get my spoon here. Okay. Okay. Snag my line. It's got to get to the bottom. I, I got it. Well, he's pulling on it. It's not easy to bring it in. He's still pulling on the line. I had to come up with this idea, so I had worn drop his spoon down and try to snag my line. So he snagged my line, he brought it up, I could still feel the fish wiggling. He pulled it up, I grabbed the line, I took my scissors, I cut it, and I had to tie yeah, one of the fastest on uni knots feel... I ever tied. Here, let me so I tied this uni quick. knot, cinched it, didn't even cut the end, let it go, and down. fish on. Tie the uni knot. Tie you? how fast it goes. You're gonna lose them. Come on. Buddy. He's getting away. Oh, he's still on there. Looks like he's in there. Grab 
the leaves. It's a blue gill. <laughs> so after this fish, we get we tied the knot, mm -hmm. uni knot. It was still Stop. entangled in all this grass, so I had Warren stick his hands in there and pull the grass off so, you know, like, I get my line free you know, so, so I could fight the fish. Yeah. All the time, the fish is kept running. There better be a salmon at the end of that line. <laughs> <laughs> Can you feel him? Oh yeah, here he goes. Keep talking now. There he goes. <laughs> you mother. <laughs> Looking up to those boots and I'll get that. Crocky. That's a big crocky. <laughs> Is it a crocky? No. <laughs> effort. Hey, you got him. He's big. <laughs> Here he comes. Where's that net? Oh yeah. No, I just saw him. Oh. Here he is. We're going to eat him. <laughs> the green sturgeon. Uh, I'm like a 30 pound pop on four pound Fishing, it's fine, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today.